Hello Zebraherd, get ready to rev up your engines because it is time for Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. This is by far my most anticipated game of 2019. This is a remaster of the original Crash Team Racing for the PlayStation 1, which I loved growing up so very much. We're gonna be playing a ton of this game, 100% on the story mode, showcasing every single character, track, car customization, DLC, whatever comes to this game, we're definitely gonna be playing. I'm super excited for it. So with that being said, let's get started with Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. Okay, so it looks like we can choose from adventure, local arcade. Of course, we're gonna be doing the story mode to start things off. Uh, I guess everyone will be doing it 100%. I'm so excited. And it looks like there's Nitro Fueled. Play with any item you've unlocked, switch and customize your character and your cart to see fit. There's Classic, which is play the original experience just like it was back in the days. One character from the beginning to end, no customization or difficulty settings, but still get all the rewards. So I'm thinking we'll stay with Nitro Fueled just for the fun of it, but I do plan on just playing as Crash to start things off. And we'll play every single character online and check out everything eventually, but I do want to keep it pretty pure for the story mode. So let's get started. Oh my gosh. So it looks like it doesn't have like the classic character select, but as you can see, this game has every character from Crash Team Racing and more. <laughs> it has uh, all the characters from Crash Nitro Kart and maybe even more characters beyond that. But for right now, like I said, we're just sticking with Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> and there's different skins like the Retro Crash, Star Crash, Electron Crash. We're gonna be checking out all of these as well, all the customizations. But for right now, for the story mode, we're keeping it like this. Let's get ready, three, two, one, go! Oh, they still have the opening. Race today, trophy prize, each track. So this is Coco Park, I think. Whoa. Uh-oh. Greetings, creatures of this planet. I come to compete. So you pesky earth slugs like to race, eh? <laughs> Well, I, Nitrous Oxide, am the fastest racer in the galaxy. I travel the stars looking for creatures to test my skills. It's a little game I call Survival of the Fastest. Here's the way we play. I challenge the best driver of your world to a race for the planet. If your driver wins, I'll leave your miserable little rock alone. But if I win, I will turn your entire globe into a concrete parking lot and make you my minions. <laughs> oh no. Get ready to race for the fate of your planet. Oh boy, so Oxide is here. Oh, and here's the opening for all the characters. Oh, Coco's ready. Oh, that's a tiny arena. Man, that looks so cool. Oh. No, Tiny, don't do that. That's Blizzard Bluff. I know all the tracks. <laughs> He's raining up. So then, oh, look, there's Pen and Penguin. Oh, there you go. She fixed it. That was cool. Oh, that was Dingo Dino. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> that's Cortex Castle. There's Cortex, of course. <laughs> Oh, there's, there's Crash Cove, I think. And of course, Crash is taking a nap. Wow, they really changed that up. That was really cool. Oh, here we are. The first area. Welcome to the adventure area. You can travel around this area and practice your driving skills. The dots and stars on the map represent warp pads which lead to races. When they flash, it signifies they are open to play. To access a race track, drive into a warp pad that has an active warp vortex, and it will take you to the track's starting line. Finish the track in first place to win a trophy. As you collect more trophies, other tracks will unlock. Good luck, and drive fast. Will do. All right, so we're gonna be playing through this entire area 100%, which means we play through all the tracks to get the trophy, we take on the boss fight, and then we play through all the tracks again twice over to get all the CTR tokens and the time trials. We're doing a full on 100% playthrough of every area, one per episode, should be super exciting. 
Okay, so let's get started with the first area, Crash Cove. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I've been waiting months and months and months to play this game. I'm hoping it's good. I hope it's everything I remember. I, it wasn't too long ago I played the original Crash Team Racing, just on my own time to get prepared for this because I'm just it's just a game I love so much. So I'm really hoping it doesn't feel too off because I, I feel like I was pretty good at that game. I'm not too good at too many games, but that game I felt like was pretty good. I was even able to get like all the platinum relics and everything, so. Let's see if it holds up. Trophy Race, Crash Cove, and Sanity Beach area. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. And they've added so much stuff, like Crash's face etched into the side. Everybody has their custom cards, which I feel like is a little bit off. I, I would rather them have their classic cards. But everybody looks ridiculous. I messed up the good start. Oh my gosh, I gotta get used to this for sure. Oh man. Here we go. But what's interesting about Crash Team Racing that's different than, say, Mario Kart, ow, they got me, <laughs> is the, how the game works with drifting. With Mario Kart, you sort of just drift and you get a boost, but with Crash Team Racing, there's sort of two buttons you have to press. You'll drift in on the bottom right, as you can see, there's a meter that builds up. Oh, here we go, this is like a star power. <laughs> oh, nice, that's what you get for hitting me earlier. But a meter will build up, and then you press the other shoulder button to activate the boost. So it's a matter of timing and precision and skill. It's a lot different than Mario Kart in that way. And I love it. <laughs> I didn't even know really what Mario Kart was when I first played this game. Like, this is one of the games I played when I was really young. Here we, here we go, we got a little shortcut up here. Oh, Puddle Hopper, we get trophies for shortcuts too. That's awesome. So we have a pretty good lead as it is. I definitely feel like it controls ever so slightly different from the original, but I wanna go up on the pirate ship. Here we go. Oh boy, here we go. But it still also feels pretty good so far. Oh, I jumped over the, the boost pad. I'm gonna put this TNT right on top of that boost pad so hopefully somebody runs right into it that isn't me. <laughs> It'll probably be me. Just watch. Whoa, speaking of TNT. Oh boy, there we go. There we go, we're moving now. Yeah, we got a pretty decent lead in front of them. Man, it's so weird seeing the game in like this much fidelity. It's just, it's crazy. I've dreamed of this happening for so long. It's, just, it's real now, you know? <laughs> okay, keep it going. I didn't get any Wumpa fruit. Unfortunately, I didn't run into any of those. I'll have to talk about that whenever we run into them. But there we go, the first three laps of the first track are done. We did excellent, off to a good start, yeah. Okay, congratulations, you've unlocked a new skin, Shiva Crash. Huh, interesting. And we also get 20 Wumpa coins, I'm gonna guess that is, that's, that's new. All the new skins and different carts and stuff, that's all brand new stuff that wasn't in the original game. So there is a lot of extra content. And that's something I've been really excited about is I was down to buy this game for the $40 when I just thought it was a normal CTR remake with nothing added on top of it. But since then, they've gotten every character in the sequel game, Crash Nitro Kart, every single track from Crash Nitro Kart, customizable carts, customizable characters. We win our first trophy. And we're dancing. Cortex looks really weird when he's red for some reason. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so with our first race won, we still got lots more to go. Congratulations, you win a trophy. Awesome. Okay, well, Aku Aku again. You can go faster through turns by power sliding. <clears throat> Press the power slide button while performing a hard turn. Will do. Already been doing it. Um, and congratulations, you've unlocked a new sticker, Crash. So with the stickers, you can put those on the carts. Congratulations. You have just earned your first customization item. You can change and customize your character and cart <coughs> in the cards menu. Okay, so with that done, we are gonna move on over to the second track, which is over this way. It is Ruse Tubes, right? Yep, I think that's what it's called. Ruse Tubes, very cool. And I just love seeing everything that's going on in the environments. They added so much, like the monkeys jumping around in the other one. I wanna pay more attention to that stuff for sure. Because before, like even like the CTR banner that's over the starting line, that used to just be the same banner on every track. But here it seems like it's actually stylized to the style of that track. That was a little redundant of a sentence, but you know what I mean. Oh boy. There's a lot of loading screens so far though. Oh my gosh, that looks so cool. Oh man. Just like some of the little details have been fully realized here. Yeah, let's get started, Ruse Tubes. Wow, look at the CTR banner there. It's like a cool, like scientific screen or something. I really do wish 
there was a way to make the characters sort of stay in their original. I know I probably sound like such like a old man right now. I want all the characters to be how they originally were because I just want to sort of show the characters how they are originally before we start seeing. Oh no, we can't dodge that. Yikes! Um, before we start showing all their customizations and stuff, because I don't want that stuff spoiled because I want to showcase it myself. Man, there's so many colors. Oh, I love it. Okay. I'm trying to get used to the drifting on this still. I feel like it's a little bit different. It's also really weird seeing like Engine, who's in first place right now, using Nitrous Oxide's uh, cart. Okay, super boost. Guess that's a trophy we earned. All right, we're back in the lead. Okay. That's good. Now we're starting to build up a lead. Oh boy, watch out. Oh, did I hit that? Yikes, that's not good. <laughs> Come on. But I, I'm not really entirely decided. Like we could end up making it so that we can, uh, or that we play a new character in every area. But I currently plan on just sticking with Crash. I mean, I'll be doing a, like I said, a showcase of every character. Let me try to get the Wumpa Fruit here. So you can see that there are some crates with Wumpa Fruit. They do work. Oh gosh, a little bit similar to how they do in Mario Kart. The Mario Kart games that actually have coins, which is to say, the more Wumpa Fruit you have, you can have up to ten. The faster you accelerate, and also you start to get better items. So instead of a TNT crate, you get a nitrous crate, which um, explodes on impact instead of you know makes it so that it sticks on your head for a little bit, and you just get better items in that way constantly. So it's always worth it to hit the Wumpa crate boxes so that you have ten of them, especially if you're farther behind because you can get items that can help you catch up a whole lot more. But man, we are really building up some speed here, and there we go. That was an even better lap time. That that last lap was our best lap time. Very cool. And 20 more Wumpa coins, whatever those are. I'm gonna guess, I think there's like, you know, you can use those to buy more cosmetics and stuff, which is super cool. But yeah, let's get back out there and go for another race. All right, so another trophy for us. And every character has their own like little trophy dance. They also have all different poses. <laughs> Did his eye fall out? <laughs> Poor engine. <laughs> hey, Coco looks super defeated. Okay. Congratulations. You win a trophy. There's another trophy. Aku Aku is gonna lecture to us about something. Boost while power sliding, wait until the smoke from your exhaust turns black. Then press the power slide button. If you wait too long, you'll hear a backfire sound and miss your chance for a boost. Alrighty, well, we'll keep that in mind. We get a new set of wheels for Team Bandicoot. That's cool. I really do want to get into the cart customization at some point. But for right now, we have another track we gotta tackle. Not this one, but this one over here. Oh, this is one of my favorite tracks. I wanna look at the opening for this one, if I can. Does it, oh wait, am I getting a mix of, oh, you know what? I sort of am, but this is so pretty. Look at the monkey up there <laughs> with the waterfall and everything. And there's the entrance to the boss fight, which we'll be dealing with pretty soon. But this is Mystery Caves. I've been purposely avoiding gameplay for most of this game. But with that being said, like, you know, like trailers and stuff. But that being said, they've revealed quite a lot of tracks. Mystery Caves is one of the few I haven't seen yet. And I want to keep it that way so that we can experience it together. It's a really cool track too. It's one of my favorites. The one coming after this, though, Sewer Speedway, is even more my favorites or one of my it's probably my favorite track is Sewer Speedway. I don't know though, we'll have to like re-evaluate that with all the Crash Nitro Kart tracks. Wow, look at that. Oh my gosh, a variation of colors is huge. Oh, look at the dinosaurs. Oh, that's super cool. <laughs> There's a pterodactyl on the top. Oh, that's so cool. And go, that sort of worked. Wow, okay, some, some of you guys are getting some good starts. What I at least appreciate is that for the story mode, oh gosh, that was not good. It does keep to the original eight characters for the story mode. Oh, I, I thought I had a rocket there. I had a speed boost. This is not good. Wait, it's leaving me in the dust. Let's change that. And you gotta bounce off these turtles at just the right time so you can get a huge boost in the air. Because the higher you jump up in the air, the more of a speed boost you get. Ah, oh, this is such a cool track. It's a pretty, I guess it's not that short. It feels short, it goes by quick. Here we go. Nice. Okay. Racing with Cortex right now. He's keeping up. There we go, we get the turtle boost. I went way up there. And we get some Wumpa Fruit. Very good. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty with all the dinosaurs and all the gems and the greenery. Like, there's a lot of stuff here that wasn't there originally, but like in a good way. Oh boy, now we're moving. I wanna keep it. 
you might be able to notice that the more flames that are flying out of the back of the car, out of its exhaust, the faster we can really go. And that's made by uh, doing a lot of consecutive boosts. I thought there was a, uh... oh, there's the one fruit. There we go, now we're up to 10. No, I'm pretty sure that was my TNT. So when you have a TNT on you, you can actually jump up and down really quickly and end up getting it off of you if you jump enough. Let's get this big jump, nice. Oh gosh, I sort of messed that up. <laughs> but this is, the more I get used to it, the more I feel like it is starting to feel like the original CTR, which is good. But yeah, since I haven't asked you guys yet, have you played the original? Do you plan on playing this one? I would love to hear all about it. Is your experience with this game so far? Because this game is so near and dear to my heart. What in the world was that? Something jumped in the water that I didn't even see. It was a little too quick. I wonder if that could have ended up hitting me or something. Oh boy. But there are so many other tracks I'm still super interested in seeing, like Dragon Mines and, like I said, Sewer Speedway. But we just have a huge lead. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, don't hit it. And when you get this far ahead, there's not really too much I can touch you. There is an equivalent of a blue shell in this game, but it doesn't get played as much as the blue shell in Mario Kart, especially in story mode. It might online. Wow, we're moving. There we go. Well, what's nice about Crash as a character is that he has some pretty decent stats. Like, they're all in the middle. He doesn't have anything that's, like, too crazy. Like, I, I like Tiny Tiger a lot, but he has, like, really bad steering. And that's, like, sort of a balance you have to choose, is that he's very powerful and I think he has like fast acceleration but really bad steering makes him hard to control. Oh wow, we got 40 tokens for that one, or coins or whatever they are. Nice. Okay, so our third trophy. Game in first place, and it looks like uh, Cortex and Dingo Dial game in second and third. They got some crazy skins going on. He's got like a ninja one, he's got like a hazmat or something like that, Dingo Dial does. You win a trophy. Very cool. Aku Aku has something else to say. When you get a TNT crate on your head, start hopping immediately. If you react fast and hop enough times, the TNT crate will fall off your head before it explodes. Alrighty, well, we just talked about that, but always good to know. You've unlocked a new paint job, the Team Bandicoot Blue. Awesome. So yeah, we can color any car, any color we want. I really prefer the classic like pipe frame cart we have right now. But here's one of my favorite courses, maybe my favorite, it's Sewer Speedway. All the pipes going everywhere look super cool. Okay, Sewer Speedway, this one has a lot of cool stuff going on, like the big barrel. Oh, the giant crocodile, that's new. Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> Slime monster, poking out of the pipes. There are a lot of really cool pipe-like levels, like sewer levels in Crash 2. Those were some of my favorite levels in that game. Of course, we played the Crash, you know, Insanity Collection, uh, the Insane Trilogy. Oh boy, here we go. We did that 100% a couple years ago when that came out. But there are so many cool shortcuts to this level. I'll start showcasing all of them, as many as I can at the least, because some of them are pretty tough to pull off, but I do want to go the main way for now, and then we'll showcase the shortcuts and the different laps. But what's cool is it's like this giant pipe, I guess like a half pipe. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And we go into here. Very cool. Whoa, don't hit the barrel because if the barrel hits you, it does squish you and you go a lot slower. Oh, and I see the little sewer cleaners up top. They're from Crash 2. Ow, that's not good. <laughs> it's a little bit of a narrow area. And there was some little mobster guys. They're from Crash 1, actually. That's super interesting. Like the stuff they've combined to make it like a really cool narrative. Because they weren't in Crash 2. The giant crocodile is totally new. And there's like two different paths you can go here. Jump up here like that. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get the, one of the toughest shortcuts in the game is you jump, oh no, I messed it up, didn't I? Oh, oh, almost made it. I'm still getting used to crash steering in this. It feels a little different. But we'll get there, we'll try it next time. And like I said, we'll have a couple of other attempts because we wanna do the time trials and we wanna do the CTR tokens. There's a crocodile up there again. Okay, keep it going, because they're close behind. Whoa, we're really moving. I wanna to try to get that lead again. I can't play super bad on my favorite track. But it is a super cool, all the elements they've combined from the other Crash games. Like it really does feel like a proper like Mario Kart competitor now, especially Mario Kart 8 being so crazy good and it having really cool tracks. So I haven't gone down this way yet, so I just wanted to show this off. You could also jump from one pipe to the other during the big gap. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. Usually you wanna build up some speed like that. Oh man, I can't believe it. 
I stink too much to do that, apparently. I swear, it, was, it wasn't that tough. Oh, well. <laughs> of course, with every game, it's gonna be a little different. Even with the remaster, I mean, that's how Crash 1 was. It was still good, but it did feel a little bit different. There we go. I think we'll still be able to finish in first. I'd be really embarrassed if we didn't, but I wanna keep trying just in case. Oh, I missed the uh, power up. Oh, gosh. Yeah, they're a little bit farther behind me now. We should be good. Boom, got it. Okay, so another first place for us. That track was a little longer, so it took us a little longer. Another 40 coin token things, nice. Okay, so our fourth trophy now. We are all set up and ready to go against the boss fight. There's Coco in her, I think, Electron skin? That one looks pretty cool. And a normal Cortex for once, interesting. All right, there we have it. Oh. Uh-oh. Here he comes! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> With a giant pile of explosives! Are you crazy enough to race me? Oh man. I should face Oxide in the big race. I'll show you while driving. Last one across the finish line is a rotten brain! <laughs> oh man, congratulations, you unlocked a new car. Oh yeah, this is from Crash Nitro Kart, the uh, Team Bandicoot. Very cool, so that was Ripperoo. We're going against Ripperoo's challenge now in the first boss fight of the story mode. Man, oh man. That was crazy, because usually he just sort of sits in front of the camera and talks, but here there was like a full cutscene to it, and he's the only character that doesn't like speak English. The other bosses do, so that'll be interesting to see the other cutscenes. I am really excited for that. But yeah, we get to do our first boss fight. These are a little bit different. Instead of having a race full of different characters, it is just me and Ripperoo one-on-one, -on -one, seeing who is the better racer, and sometimes it can be a bit of a cheater. We'll find out if Ripperoo's that way. Okay, oh my gosh, Ripper is so cool. He drives with his feet because he's he doesn't have his hands available, I don't think. There we go. No, I didn't get a good boost there. I'm still getting used to that too. But the the big thing about boss fights is that they have unlimited items. They will constantly be throwing TNT and potions and stuff at you. So it is important to get your rockets ready and get in front of them as soon as possible. Because the rockets will be useful, of course, you'll be able to hit them and slow them down a little bit. But if you're in front of them, you don't have to deal with all the stuff they're gonna be lobbing at you, which obviously is easier said than done. Oh, I failed one of the uh, drifts there. Let me make sure I get the Wumpa Fruit as well, because, oh no, if I mess something up like that, I'm gonna have to speed back up. Okay. Got it. And he's right behind me. Can I look behind myself? Oh, I see him. I keep doing it with the drifts, though. That is definitely a bit different. And it's not necessarily bad. I'm not trying to say that. It's just definitely something to adjust to is how the drifts work. Just like I feel like the tightening, the turning is a little bit more tight. But once I get used to it, I think it'll be soaring. I mean, we're already won in the races. Let's win some more. All right, final lap. Wow, that actually went by really quick now that I think about it. <laughs> we're on the final lap already. I haven't had to use any of my rockets. We're destroying Ripperoo. I mean, there was a hard mode. Maybe one day we'll play that. I wanted to play the normal mode, just because. Because I think this is the same as the original experience, but maybe one day, later down in the series, because this is gonna be a long series. I'm gonna have a lot of episodes piled up. But, um, hopefully, we'll be able to tackle hard mode if that's something you guys are interested in. All right, well, we won, so I might as well fire all my rockets. That was pretty good. Ripperoo got destroyed, expert dodger. Oh, probably because we completed a boss without getting hit by a single item. Very cool, so another 20 coins for beating Ripperoo. And there we go, everyone is technically complete. We can move on to the next area now. Oh, what's happening? Oh. You are crazier than me. Best get head checked if you think you can beat Oxide. Oh. What is he doing, is he okay? Uh, oh, the key, ew. Have a key, good luck, you'll need it. That was sort of gross. But yeah, we can use that key to get to the next area, but we're not quite doing that. We'll do that next episode. Now we're gonna go and get everything else done we need to in area one to get 100% completion. That was super cool. Just having the animated cutscenes now is just so awesome. Oh boy, what's happening? Looks like our key opens the lock. Congratulations on opening this new area. Here you will find four more tracks to race. Good luck.
Hopefully I won't need it, but we'll find out. And you have unlocked a new character at Peru. Oh, it didn't do the little trophy celebration. Usually it does that, and like the, the boss character will just be crying in the corner. But I guess they don't really need to. I mean, get, I don't know, who knows. <laughs> You've unlocked a new sticker, Ripperoo. Very cool. So like I said, we're not going to Area 2 just yet, because as you can see here for Crash Cove, or for Ensign Beach, we still have all these tracks to get the time trial and the CTR tokens, and we still also have Skull Rock. And that's what we're doing for the rest of today's episode. So let's get started with Crash Cove, and just sort of do what we can, and get going. So as you can see, there's either a CTR challenge or a relic race. Let's first do the CTR challenges. There we go. Oh wait, yeah, that's right. Aku Aku will tell us about him. C, T, and R on each track, and come in first place to win a CTR token. Beware, some letters are hard to find. All right, I'll keep that in mind. So I hopefully, if they haven't moved the CTR tokens, I should remember where they all are, just because I don't know. I, I'm I'm a nerd like that. So yeah, hopefully that won't be too bad. What I'm really worried about is the time trials, but I guess I'll talk about that a little bit more once we get there. But yeah, the CTR tokens, the tough part isn't getting the tokens, it's getting the tokens and then finishing in first place, because you gotta do both. And that's why I suggest the first lap should be focused on getting all the, all the tokens, all the letters. And I did see one just floating about there. So yeah, let's get started. Racing against seven other racers as per usual. So even if we have to go a bit slow this first lap, that's fine. As our goal, like I said, to find the tokens. Now, I know that there should be one behind one of these pillars. Oh, there it is. Ready? Excuse me. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> that's embarrassing. There we go. There's the R. And they're not necessarily in order. But I remember the next one being up here. Yep. And you can actually, I don't want to show this off too much, but you can go on to this pirate ship. Obviously, there's not too much up here, but this is a fun little Easter egg, I guess. I always thought that was so cool when I was young, because it's just like, you just get to explore. So I'm way back in last place, but that is A-OK, -okay because we're gonna get some good items for it. And then I wanna get up this way and try to make this jump for the seat. Yeah, there we go, so we already got all three tokens. And let's get it going. We're in last place, but hopefully not for long. All we gotta do now is win. If not, we're gonna have to do the whole thing over. I'm pretty sure you have to finish in first. That's how it was in the original. Already in third place. Oh, ow. <laughs> Yikes. That was not good. Rammed right into the wall. Where's first place? Wow, Polar is way up there. The game's definitely giving me a helping hand, though. With the uh, Aku Aku. Come on now. Oh, oh, he got TNT'd. I'm gonna send that back at him. It didn't hit him though. Oh well. Final lap, here we go. Boom, oh I hit somebody. Who knows who. So let's try to make sure I take as many shortcuts as I can. I was hoping, oh there we go. The rocket was coming for me but it must have hit the wall. When I got up on that shortcut, that is super duper cool. So I'm a little bit in the lead now but I could be more. So I just gotta be careful. Probably place this down in his advantage, advantage of a place I can find. Whoa, don't hit the wall. There we go, I should be good. I get the win and all the tokens. How cool is that? And we get spare change. I don't know what that means, but I'm just glad we were able to get the token. So we got a couple more of those to get, but before we do that, we're actually gonna go back to this track with the time trial. So let's keep it going. All right, so our first CTR token, it's a red one. Oh, the polar and pearl looks so sad. Oh well. <laughs> You have to watch the whole dance, which is a little weird. Oh, and Aku's gonna say something else. The more Wampa fruit you collect, the faster your cart will go. If you collect and hold 10 Wampa fruits, you'll be juiced up, and your power up will become more potent. Yep, we already know all about that. I'm, I'm one step ahead of you, Aku. All right, so we get dual stripes for a new decal, and we're good to go back to Crash Cove. <laughs> right over this way and do the Relic Race. So I'm sure Aku Aku's gonna tell us a little bit about these ones as well. Yep, hey buddy. Get the lowest time you can by racing fast and breaking time crates. Each time crate you break will freeze the clock. If you achieve a low enough time, you will be awarded a Relic. Alrighty, let's get going. So as you can see, there are yellow boxes scattered throughout the, the track, and we have to hit as many of them as we possibly can. 
That's the whole goal. Now, I'm not gonna be trying to get Platinums, at least not right now. Maybe later in the series we can revisit these, but just because it takes a lot of trial and error to get the Platinums, which is the best possible relic you can get, um, I'm just gonna get whatever I can, a passing score, um, which is usually the blue sapphire one you see there. I think it goes sapphire, gold, platinum. Um, that's all I'm worried about, and just because I don't want this to become boring where I'm just trying over and over again, just gonna do what I can. Oh, I thought there were crates up here. Huh, guess not. <laughs> But that'll be my goal. Now, personally, I have gone in the original game, gone through my own time and actually gotten all the Platinum Relics. It's a lot of fun to do that. If you, you know that's what you're into is perfecting the score and getting all the crates. Another big benefit to getting every single crate is it does minus 10 seconds on your total time. So if you're good enough for getting the crates, but you're not the fastest, you can still end up getting Platinums that way. But right now, as you can see, we got the first lap, then there's only 15 seconds on the clock just because of how many of these crates we're hitting. And some of them give more time than others, as you can see. Oh, that was sort of bad. I missed out on the three. Okay, let's go down here instead. It is definitely tough. Oh, man, I missed a bunch. To drive quickly. Oh, no. <laughs> to drive quickly and hit all the crates. I'm trying my best, though. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. I am, like, squirrely. I am all over the place right now. Okay, so there should be a couple of crates right over this way. And I'm at 40 seconds when we have a minute and 17 in total. So I should be relatively okay, as long as I go quick. No, oh my gosh, I'm messing up everything. We might actually still have to do multiple tries. We'll have to wait and see. I mean, these aren't easy at all. Burn and rubber. Looks like we got some kind of drifting trophy. Okay, come on, time is running out but I think we'll be able to make it. Maybe if we keep trying, yeah, we got like, okay, yeah, we'll definitely make it then. Got it. Yeah, 107, 117 is all we needed. So we got the basic one. I'm not too worried about it. That's what we'll get. <laughs> Looks like our best possible time could have been like 52 seconds. Like I said, if you guys wanna see an episode where I try to get all the Platinum Relics, maybe we could do that in its own episode. That'll be a lot of fun, but for now, I'm not too interested. Okay, so our first relic in the game unlocked. <laughs> We're just gonna be dancing next to nobody. It's a very lo lonely podium this time around. That's fine. <laughs> okay, well, our first relic race. So we got to do both of those, the CR token and the relic race for three more tracks, but we should be able to do that. And here's Aku Aku again. To get around a tight turn or to face a direction quickly, use the brake slide by pressing and holding the brake button while turning hard. Which the brake button is the square button. That doesn't happen too often. But we unlocked a new decal, the winged arrows. Hey, it's something new. So yeah, like we drift and then we can hold square as well. Or whatever your console equivalent is. But anyways, we're going in the ruse tubes now and doing the same thing. CTR tokens and a relic race should be pretty good. Let's get going. Okay, so roots, ruse tubes again. I think I might start skipping these openings a little bit just so we can save a couple of seconds. We've already seen them in the trophy race. So yeah, where are the tokens for this one? If I remember correctly, the first one's coming up on this big jump right here. Oh, I jumped over it. <laughs> That's not good. So I'll have to go back and get that um, on the second lap and hope everything turns out okay there. Yeah, with this track being a bit simpler and I missed the R, they are a little bit more in plain sight, but I remember this last one this last letter being a bit more sneaky, we'll find out in just a second. I think it's actually tighter against a turn here. And this isn't really a strategy I recommend too much, but it can be a decent little corner cut right there. The problem is it's sort of off the main road, so you do go a lot slower if you don't have a boost. There it is, didn't, didn't want to jump as high that time. Okay, so here's the R. Got it, okay, there's all three tokens. We already have a decent little lead, but we're gonna keep that going on. I don't wanna get that lump of fruit because it's just sort of at an awkward angle where there's no way I wouldn't hit the side of the wall. So we're just gonna keep it up like this. Already heading into our third and final lap after we get through this turn. I love all the details on the road. Like you can see like all the ruts and the dirt and stuff. Like that's really cool. Obviously the original game was on the PlayStation 1 so we didn't get to see those kind of details. But they were just in my imagination. It's just, it's really cool. How the, you know, it just sort of fills in what my imagination already did when I was younger but it's real now. <laughs> That's always fun. Yeah, we should definitely be able to win this. We have a huge lead in front of Polar, who's in second place, who has a decent lead in front of everybody else. We should be fine. So I sort of want to try that shortcut again. Just going like that, 
that definitely saves some time. I wonder how many people are gonna do strategies like that online. Cause that, you know, some people have been playing the original CTR for years now, speed running it and everything. There's some really good people who play the game. So I wonder how they're gonna hold up online. All right, so yet another CTR token. This time it's green. We're able to beat Polar and Cortex. He's crying through his helmet. Okay, Polar looks like a normal bear, not a Polar bear. Weird. Okay, so there's another one done. You can get a hang time turbo from jumping. The longer you're in the air, the bigger the turbo you'll get when you land. For big turbos, try to get extra air time by hopping off jumps using the hop button. Which I do quite often, is a jump right before you, you launch off of a, a ramp or anything. Three lines, got a new decal, pretty cool. That looked like two lines to me, but I don't know. Anyways. Let's go back to Ruse Tubes, not this time to race anybody, but of course to race ourselves in the Relic Time Trial, the Relic Release. Let's get started. Okay, so Ruse Tubes again, you can see quite a few of the different uh, boxes there. I hope this one will be a little bit easier than Crash Cove. I guess we'll find out. I immediately miss a box. Oh, that's embarrassing. That's okay. Now this one's a little farther out, so you definitely wanna go for the more difficult boxes first, just that way you don't have to worry about it later, because you don't want to have like a really good run and then leave the, the hardest boxes for last and then like uh, you miss them and go, okay, now the whole run's ruined, you know? You want to get that out of the way first. So you can just sort of coast through the rest of it. Oh, there's a whole bunch of boxes there. I probably could have done a better job of getting some of them. I'm gonna go wide here so we can get the three seconds. Because if I were attempting to get every box, I would now have to stop and turn and get those two boxes at the same time, and that'd be tough. Oh boy. Oh, I just barely got that. Okay, very good. I'm gonna actually cut it close there. I hit the wall a little bit, so maybe that was a bad strategy. Oh, but I really made some good speed down that hill. And then this is a three second boost. Not bad. I'm gonna try to get these three. That was good. There aren't really too many crates for this level. There's only 32. I already got a good chunk of them. So if I really wanted to, the thing is like I can do this, but then I have to also make sure this doesn't take me more than 10 seconds because if I get every crate, that gives me a 10 second boost on the time. Oh, no, oh man, the jump didn't work. Oh well, whatever. We tried, we failed, it happens. I don't know why it didn't work. You just sort of gave up. Okay, as long as we just don't get the 115, I don't have to try it over. Which is really what matters most. Oh gosh, grab that. Okay, good enough, good enough. Go for it. Ah, oh, I can't believe I missed that one. There we go, we got it, once again, that's what matters. We only missed three boxes, but let's just let it be. Okay, well, <laughs> score wasn't too impressive that time. 20 coins and we're good to move on. Okay, so yet another relic. One of these days we'll get a better than a sapphire. But we got plenty of chances coming up. Every track in the story mode, basically. Okay, there we go. And let's see if Aku Aku has anything to say about it. Ah, not this time. The first time he's not giving us info. But then we got a new sticker, Crunch, who's actually a brand new playable character for Crash Team Racing. He was in Nitro Kart, but not CTR. So that's a little bit different. Always exciting to see that. Well, okay, we're a little too far off to the corner. Okay, so our next track should be over here. Of course, we're doing this in the same order we did everything else. So, yep, we're doing Mystery Caves, CTR Challenge. Let's get to it. I still really love this track. All the added details and just the course itself I always really enjoyed. So we were, know where the R is. It's over that right turtle. I think that's the very first turtle set we run into. Don't know where all the other letters, letters are, so we're gonna have to figure that out as we go along. But I, I think I remember. One of them should be on one of the jumps with the meteors, and the other one might be like at the end of where a path splits. I'll show it. So first off, yep, turtle right here. I totally missed it. That's okay. We'll have another lap to try that out. It's a pretty easy one to get. Watch it, Tiny, come on, dude. What was that about? <laughs> oh, boy. See, I think our next token's coming up. I don't think it's on any of these paths specifically. Man, I am not getting some good luck here but instead it's right here? No, it's not, okay. I'm misremembering that one then. Where could it be? And then wasn't there another one in the air somewhere? No? Huh. I don't quite remember then. 
I didn't see it, but there was also a lot of stuff going on visually there, so I could have missed it. Okay, here's the T. Oh, I remember this one. Ow. I am really not getting any good luck, but keep in mind, it's the first lap. I know, Aku Aku, I know I was going the wrong way. So we've only gotten one token so far. Okay. Ah oh, man, I missed it again. Turtle wasn't really helping me out too much there. Yes, yeah, speed boost. Oh, maybe it was in there. I can't remember where this, I'm pretty sure it was in one of the boost jumps out. I must have just missed it. We'll find out. If not, if I have to try again, so be it. It's not the end of the world. So I went to the right path, path last time. Let's go to the left. Let's make extra sure it's not here. Dude, every five seconds I'm getting hit by another rocket. So I don't see it in the air around here. Oh boy. Not around here either. But not around here. I swear that's where it used to be, but I guess not. Hmm. I'll just have to find it. Okay, watch it. Oh my gosh. It's okay. So I have another lap to catch up, and I'm not really too far behind the pack. Okay, final lap. So first off, I need to get this right now. There it is. And could it possibly be in here? There's a little cool shortcut like this. Obviously you have to be going really fast to have a speed boost to get through this, but it's not there. Like there must, I just must be missing it then. Huh. I'm really running out of time now though, so like that's a huge issue. Oh boy, come on, speed boost, speed boost. I'm seeing it here. Yeah, I don't see it. I swear it used to be here. Where, where to go? <laughs> I don't understand. I might have to redo this race then. What in the world? Did they move it? They must have done. Or it's just like very visually hidden. Anyways, I'm gonna just try my best to win this race for now. Oh, I'm not going to. Endings right here. Ah, oh, everything went wrong in that race. I'm gonna have to try again. Yikes, well at least we get to see what Crash looks like when he fails. Is he, no, he's not even cheering or not anything. He's just normal crash. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to retry that. I still get some tokens though, which is interesting. There's no retry button? Now I can just continue. Oh no, here we go, okay. I'll try that again. Oh, there it is, I see it now. And I jumped right over it, but I know where it is now. Okay, well, <laughs> that super duper blends in because there's like so much lava everywhere now. Definitely is a little bit different. Just gonna keep that in mind. There we go. Got the T at the least. Oh, this is a tough track for sure. Whoa, I got the major turtle boost there. I got a good lead on everybody, so as long as I just utilize that to get all the letters I need, I got the R there. That's good. So all I have to worry about now is the C. Let's make sure that happens then. Oh no, <laughs> tried the time the turtles. Didn't work out. Probably wanna get some more Wumpa Fruit over this way as well. Just like that. So let's just go for it. Yeah, I got it! That's all I needed. So we can just win now. Okay. Nice. Get the double turtle bounce! That was good. Let's keep stuff like that going. <laughs> Definitely doing a lot better on this track this time. Maybe I just need a bit more practice. I did have all the Wumpa Fruit I needed, but I did get hit by the fireball as well. That sort of messed me up. I don't know what that is. It must be just like some kind of fish that just flies in the water there. Whoa, <laughs> that rocket was trying to go for me. Didn't last very long. It was very far away. Oh boy. Another rocket. Nope, it's gone. If the rockets don't last very long when it comes to that long of a distance, they usually end up running into something. There we go. Come on, keep it moving. No, I can't believe I got hit by that again. Yikes. Yeah, I'm gonna have to skip on the turtles that time. I missed the Wumpa Fruit, but we have a huge lead. We should be able to win with this. No problemo. Oh. <laughs> Not good. There we go. We got it, we win. Get the CTR tokens, and now we can go back to this track and do the time trial with the Relic Race. Okay, so after yet another CTR token, <laughs> Tiny is really crying, he's upset. Poor Tiny. 
Okay, well, after this, we just gotta do the Rollick again, but let's see what we unlock before we do that. We get Dinga Dial as a sticker. Pretty cool. See, so yeah, let's go ahead and do the Rollick race. Okay, so Mystery Caves again. Let's go ahead and pick up these crates as fast as we can. And hopefully that goes pretty well. We got 40 crates in this one, so that wanna be a bit of a challenge. And it doesn't look like I have to hop off the turtles too much, so I didn't wanna go too crazy with that one. Definitely go on the inside there to get some extra time. Now, is there crates in that shortcut? It didn't look like there was, so I'm gonna leave that be. There's not that to worry about around here, so we should be good. Oh, I missed out on a crate right there, though. I'm gonna go on the right side for now. Look like there's two crates here, so I'm gonna have to come back on this side. Oh, and there's no Wumpa fruit again. I always forget that. At least there usually is one there, and there wasn't, so. Oh, I see this three second boost. Ah, oh, but I got hit by the flames. That's not gonna be good for my time. I mean, so far, not too bad, though. There we go. Got it. I definitely think that the Relic Races can be some of the most difficult things the story mode has to offer, especially if you're going for Perfect Platinum. I can't believe I missed, and I missed that too. I'm a mess. <laughs> there we go. Whoa, I'm going way over him. That's not good. I mean, as long as I can get a minute and 55, which we're not even at 40 seconds yet, so ooh, we're pretty well set up in that term. Ah, messed it up. Oh, I see the three seconds over this way I want. <laughs> okay. And there really aren't too many crates around here. I can grab that, and then this. Okay. Not too bad. Really building up some speed, so don't get hit by the fireball. Oh boy. Oh no, oh no. Missing on a ton of stuff. Really is about timing when you boost, if you want that extra like if you want that extra control. Like boosting too soon might make it so that you not only get a good enough boost, but also that you sort of start turning sooner. You sort of turn a little bit wider when you boost less often. At least boost a little bit slower than normal. Okay, got that. Oh, I missed that one second, but that's fine. I should be able to do this. Ow, ooh, that was a weird rock. Whoa, there we go. Come on, don't get hit by a fireball all three times. Or no, did I get one? I don't even remember. Oh boy. Now we're building up some major speed, but that doesn't matter too much if I miss the boxes over and over again. Come on, 15 seconds, that should be plenty of time. Ah, I sure hope it is. <laughs> Oh no, we missed eight boxes that time. There was a ton to get though. We did way better than the best times though this time. Usually we do a lot worse. Anyways, that's good. We'll come back one day. We get 40 coins and we're good to go. Only one more track left. Let's see what uh, cosmetic we're getting for this one. Anything? Yep, we have got the airbrush decal. Huh, okay, so it's like some kind of gradient. That's pretty cool. Alrighty, so one more track we have left to complete with the CTR tokens and relics, and then we have the arena map track thing. So we're almost finished up. Let's do the CTR challenge for Sewer Speedway. Okay, so Sewer Speedway it is. I love this track so much, so let's hope that we can do this and maybe even get the shortcut I've been trying so hard to get. I don't see any of the CTR tokens there, but hopefully they won't be too bad for this track. What's cool about the CTR tokens is they sort of force you in some ways to actually check out some of the shortcuts. So I think there might be one, yeah, right there. I sort of missed it out, but that is sort of a bit of a shortcut because you can get a height boost. I'm gonna try to do this now. Oh my gosh. I swear, it was a tough shortcut in the original game, but not that tough. So that's always a little concerning to me when it comes to what changes to the game have been made is that is the handling properly made so that you can actually get the shortcuts done? I can only hope, because it's my favorite shortcut. So I'm gonna definitely put in some time to perfecting this track. But you saw I got the R token, it was just sort of on the left-hand side, or left hoof side for me, of, oh, there's the C, okay. Um, whoa, I just barely timed that right. If not, I would've been squished. That would not have been good. But let's definitely use this to catch up a little bit. Come on. Ooh. So I know where the other two letters are. It's just a matter of hitting them at the right place, at the right time. Oh, I just missed it again. Yikes. 
So I know that I can actually take this shortcut. Oh my gosh, if I could actually do it. I am so upset by that, I really wanna do it. Oh well, we'll find it, we'll find a way. You know, if not now, then there's always later down the line. I mean, we're gonna be playing online, there's a good chance we'll be running into this track in the future. Okay, so there is... Oh my gosh, I missed it again. I've been like super duper off on everything today. Come on, Crash, come on. <laughs> That's what it looks like when we get squished though. <laughs> Let's just keep it moving. I get some rockets, that's got a triple pack of them. Oh boy. Final lap, here we go. So here's my last chance on this one, and I missed it, which means I gotta restart. Ooh, that stinks. Because I, I, I didn't jump before and I missed it, and I jumped this time and I miss it. It's like, ah, what do I gotta do to not miss it? <laughs> oh boy. Try it again. That's fine though. I guess that's my favorite track, so I don't mind replaying it. I just definitely am having some issues getting used to the sort of different controls. But that wasn't it either. Yikes, it's no matter what I do there. This doesn't seem to be the right thing to do. There it is, we got it! Yeah, look at this way up here. Half pipe carting. You just get this cool little secret area with wampa fruit and everything. And of course, because of this, I missed out on a ton of stuff, but that's fine, I can at least try to get this. I got the C, so that's good. And I have a huge lead that'll now be totally ruined because I hit the barrel. But you know what, I don't care. I got the shortcut I really, really wanted. That has me excited. Whoa, oh man. <laughs> I've not been racing too well beyond that though. That's okay. Hopefully by the end of the story mode playthrough, we'll be ready to hit it up online Even a bit better. We'll wait and see. Okay, so I'm gonna try really hard to get this again because this is the one that's been really messing me up. And I missed it again. It seems like no matter when I try to jump there. Huh. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna hang out on this left side for as long as I can. Whoa, I said as long as I can. What's up, that's pretty long. There we go. So I can get the art token, which is definitely the easiest one in this level. There's not any kind of jump you have to do with it. So let's hope I can get it this time, because if not, I'm in big trouble. Come on, every time with the barrel, really? Okay, and Polar's gonna zoom in front of me. Oh boy, hit that again. I need to uh, spread out my boosts a little bit more, I think. Final lap, here we go. But I'm definitely excited to check out some of the other characters. There's so many characters in this game now, it's exciting. Yes, there it is. Okay, so we are good with the CTR tokens. I can try one more time with this boost. It is so tough to time. It's all about what the timing is. Come on, Crash, turn around. Um, what the timing is with the with the jump off the side of the half pipe. Oh no. Come on, come on. Again, really? Stop. <laughs> okay. I can't lose this, or I have to do it all over. So let's keep it moving. Oh man, I might actually lose, or at least not win. That'd be a problem. Oh no, 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 no. I swear, I've never had an issue like that on this track before. Looks like I'm gonna have to do it again. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'll do it again, I'll be right back. Oh well. All right, so there we go, that's how I got it. Just took a little bit more practice. I did a lot better that time too. So definitely a little bit more comfortability with this control style, and I'm getting there. It'll be good. And I'm sure I'll find something that works a little bit more for me once we try all the characters with all their different stats and stuff. That'll be good as well. I think the carts and the tires and stuff don't have any effect on that, luckily. It's just the characters themselves that have specific stats, so that's sort of what I prefer. I never really liked it too much that uh, Mario Kart 8 had different character stats and different vehicle stats. It got very confusing for me very quickly. So I like how it's nice and simple here. But we get the blue CTR token, the last one we needed to get for today's episode. So now we're just gonna be dancing along. We're gonna go get the relic race for the sewer speedway, and then we'll be done with all the relics as well. That'd be great. Actually, there might be one more CTR token. Oh, we get the blue hyena crash. Very interesting, let's get back to the game now. Yeah, let's do the relic race for uh, Sewer Speedway. So here we are back on Sewer Speedway one last time. Let's get it going. Hopefully I can do this in a minute 33. That's gonna be a bit of a challenge, but definitely doable. 
I want to try to go for the more difficult ones first. So we have this jump over this way. Oh, I missed the one box there, and then I missed that one. Yikes. Definitely, you know, these are made to do over and over again and trial and error and all that kind of stuff. So, oh gosh. And you can see there's a couple up there. Man, I am missing all sorts of boxes. Whoa, watch it. But yeah, that's why it can be quite tough to get these, but it's, it's worthwhile if you want to get everything in the game. I mean, I don't know if you get anything extra except for the Platinum Relic itself. We're getting them, but maybe one day we'll find out. Oh man, I am missing a ton of boxes in this first lap though, but I guess that means more for the next lap, right? There we go. Okay, so, not really the best first lap, but even if we did that three times in a row, we'd basically make it in terms of time. So good to keep in mind. Oh, I could have gotten an extra three seconds if I did that one. Oh, I just barely missed that too, yikes. Yeah, I'm gonna go a little bit slower. <laughs> I did not press accelerate there at all. We still did crazy. Crazy movements and crazy speed. Dude, this game just moves super fast, in like a good way, in a crazy way, all sorts of ways. I'm gonna try to get this box up there, and I get it, sweet, we get the one on the landing. Whoa, boy. Oh no, so I wanna try to get this box out in the center. You know what, I'm gonna take that slow down to my advantage. Okay, so 52 seconds, but I really gotta get it moving if I wanna make the most of that. We get three seconds right there, that's nice. So we have 33 seconds to finish this final lap. And this is where I would have definitely recommended just, oh, no, oh, yikes. Get a little three second boost there though. Oh, I wish I could have gotten that one. You know, trying to get that big shortcut first because if I could have gotten up there, I could have saved a bunch of time. As you can see, I'm barely even getting half the boxes right now. I mean, we're still gonna be getting more as we ride through this, of course. Oh, if I don't get squished. Okay, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I thought I was gonna get squished there for sure. Super surprised I didn't. Grabbing that one, grabbing one of these. Okay, we should be able to make it, but it's gonna be close. I missed that box again. <laughs> Yikes. There it is, 126. Let's keep it that way. And boom, we got it. We got the Sapphire again. 41 out of the 65 isn't too flashy, but you know what? It's fine, it's fine. We get another 40 coins, and we are done all the relic races for the day. At least we have that going for us. Okay, so our last relic of the day has been achieved. Just one more thing left to do in today's episode before we're all wrapped up with area one of uh, the story mode and Sanity Beach. So let's find out what that is. It's a little bit different than everything else we've been doing. Yeah, we got a relic. Congratulations, you unlocked a new sticker, the palm tree. And you unlocked a new sticker, the mask. And another new sticker, the shark. Cool, three new stickers. And the last thing we have to do is over this way. It is called Skull Rock. It's a little bit different. It does give you a CTR token, but it actually doesn't have anything to do with collecting CDR tokens. And Aku Aku is gonna tell us all about it. Every crystal in the arena before the time runs out. If you get them all, you will win a prize. Indeed we will. So let's get started. Whoa, look at the, the, the seagulls on top of the cortex uh, rock. I guess it is. But yeah, the goal with this one, and this might actually take a couple tries, is to collect all 20 relics, not relics, uh, crystals before the time runs out. And so this could be a bit tough, but it's actually on the game's battle arena map. So just like Mario Kart, this game does have a battle mode, and this is one of those tracks. So very cool to see it here. And we just basically gotta zoom around here as fast as we can. I'm not doing too much drifting because I'm just trying to get everything, like not missing that kind of stuff. That's why I don't drift. Try to anyways. Oh, we did get a speed boost, which I'm actually going to try to use just like that. Awesome. So here's another one right there. Already halfway there. We got 52 seconds remaining, but some of the tough crystals are still laying in wait for us. Like this one, just sort of hidden off in the corner. Now I need to get this one, but the best way to get it would be to ooh, yeah, go into this little uh, alcove of some sort. And you always get speed boost every time. You don't really need anything else, so it makes sense. Let me get under there if I can. No, 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 come on, come on, come on. So I got 28 seconds left to get everything, and this is why I really think it might take me more than one attempt. Okay, that's everything there. So what I gotta do now, with the four crystals remaining, is get up here, oh no, not good, not good, not good. Oh boy, get up, that's it, good crash, good. Grab that crystal, 
this one. Okay, ready for it? Yeah, there's all of them, 20 out of 20 with eight seconds remaining. Not really that difficult to do, I guess. Arena Explorer, very cool. And there's one of those in every area in the story mode, so we still have three more of those to check out, which is super duper cool. Okay, so, yeah, let's keep it going. But that's basically the entire Area 1 of Story Mode completed. Next episode, we'll do Area 2, which is the Lost City. It's a cool one, some very challenging, but very fun tracks in Area 2 that we'll be getting to. It's it's gonna be a lot of fun. Like I said, stay tuned for a ton of Crash Team Racing Nitro Field episodes coming up. I'm gonna be playing through the entire Story Mode. I wanna showcase every character, every skin. It's gonna be like 100 episodes. So I hope you like this game, I really do, because I love it a lot. Even though I'm still getting used to it, it's not 100% accurate to the controls of the original so far in my opinion, but it's still a lot of fun. And yeah, we unlocked a new skin, Green Engine. Okay, cool I guess. But as you can see, if we pause the game, Area 1, Crash Cove, Ruse Tubes, Mystery Cave, Sewer Speedway, Ripper Root, and Skull Rock all completed. So we'll check out the next area soon enough. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. If you watched this point of video, make sure you comment Nitro Zebra so you've watched the end of it. You are a zebra tossing viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.